In 1893, the Salt Air Pavilion was constructed along the southern shore of the Great Salt Lake. This massive entertainment complex drew thousands and was often referred to as the Coney Island of the West. But since its inception, the Salt Air was infected with a curse, as it was scarred by three fires, the last of which, in 1970, ultimately burned the famed venue to the ground. But before that tragedy, it was immortalized in the 1962 cult horror classic Carnival of Souls. And to this day, all that remains is a gravesite of original pylons marking where the iconic resort once stood. Then in the 1980s, the curse resurfaced when a newly constructed third attempt at the salt air was suddenly flooded by the Great Salt Lake, rendering it uninhabitable for nearly two decades, when it was said to have been ground zero for dark ritualistic practices. Today, this building, known as the Great Salt Air, is now a 4,600 capacity concert venue, and while it's laid dormant due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the ground it's anchored to is still troubled. We're here to see if the recent claims of spiritual activity and attacks are reverberations of the Salt Air's past or a new chapter of this curse as it harbors an energy that's laid dormant gestating and ready to strike again. How you doing? Good. I'm Zach. Miley. I'll give you an elbow there. This place uh, has freaked you out a few times, has it? Yes, it does. Before we go in, can I ask you a question? Yes. Have you heard of Salt Air Sally? I have. They really did find her body dismembered on the property. Yes. And is she one of the resident spirits of the salt air? Yes. Tonight, the remains of a local woman who vanished 12 years ago have been identified in Utah. They had been known only as salt air Sally. Police in Utah today announced remains duck hunters discovered near Great Salt Lake in 2000. Now detectives are working to find her killer. But unfortunately, the case of Salt Air Sally wasn't an isolated incident. Have you heard about other bodies being found? Well, I know that there's usually between one or two bodies per year found like in the general area. Of the property? Yeah. When you know that this is the only building on the property, it kind of brings the energy to a structure. It does. If there is a spirit that's at unrest. Yes. Uh, so is this the moment where we get to go inside? I hope so. Let's turn our flashlights okay. on and enter into this massive structure. Can you tell us some things that have happened to you in here? Yes. This is a new green room. And there's a difference between this green room and the green rooms on the other side. Every time I come in here, I hear voices. And it gets really heavy. There's usually a lot in here. Why did I just get a really, really big, big chill right here? And the temperature will Holy drop. Holy cow, yeah. And suddenly, I find the energy in this room begins to intensify. The longer you stay in here, the kind of heavier the energy gets. Yeah, I feel weird. Yeah. To be honest with you, I didn't. I, but I, I had a little bit of aggression, to be honest. Yeah. That was really strong. It was really strong. Oh, yeah. I always baseline myself out when walking into a location for the first time. And I know the aggression I just felt was not my own. That was a weird feeling. I'm actually having a little bit of still like residual feelings from just that in there. You're right. What's wrong? I don't know. My arm here is burning. Burning? Yeah. So I just want to see if there's anything. It's because it, it really is burning. That is weird. This hurts right here. 
But do you see are there lines right there? It's kind there? of red. It's right there. Yep, I can see. It. Are you serious? Hold on. There was like a distinct line. Yeah. It's just it's I can burning. I feel like it's appearing more. Just let it. Yeah, like, look. Oh, do you I see, see that? I see it no. now. Look, there's no, it's on there. There. Look like there. a line. Yeah, two of them. Yeah, two of them. I see them now. This feeling on my arm feels like poison ivy. The red marks are faint, but they are visible and forming. And that's where the burning is. Yep. And I can feel these painful marks through four layers of clothing. Could this be a manifestation of the aggression I was just feeling in that green room? I, but I, I had a little bit of aggression, to be honest. Yeah. And as quickly as it began, the burning sensation suddenly stops. So it's no coincidence that at the same moment, Jay notices something around me. Oh, I just, I don't know, that was so weird. What? I literally just felt like I saw some kind of anomaly just drift away from you back into the, whatever that, the bathroom. Oh, I just, oh. As we pursue this anomaly into the women's bathroom, is there somebody in this bathroom? There's a heaviness in the air that begins to trigger something inside of me. These Getting are all that aggression again. Really? Where's that meter? Are you making me angry? Are you giving me aggression? Who are you? What, what was, was that? that? What, what was, was that? that? I heard that. I heard him. It was over here. Was like what a, was that? Wasn't it a voice? It sounded like a little no. cry or something. Whoa, whoa. Right as we hear the voice, we're getting spikes. And this has been nothing but a zero the whole whoa. time. Did we hear your voice? Boom. Yeah. Boom. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. A five. Five? Yeah. We heard your voice, didn't we? A six. It's getting stronger. Tell us who you are. To hear this unexplained voice that sounded like a child's cry, Jay mentions an old legend that's associated with the Great Salt Lake. Do you know about the crying? No. There's this whole myth about Salt Lake, about these little creatures called water babies. When people go up to them because they think it's a little kid crying or something, and they lure you out into the water, and then you die. Where were we just, just out in the ago. water? Oh, yeah. The only people for yeah. miles that was at yeah. the water. We now head to the Salt Air's grand staircase, which was the site of a very serious incident that was captured on video and involves someone we know. How you doing, Vincent? I'm doing all right, man. How are you? Good, good. Uh, so the first thing that I want to talk about is this footage. Right. of you falling down these stairs. If you watch the video of Vincent, you will notice how big his eyes are and something is affecting him very badly. Do you remember how you felt? I didn't, I didn't fall, I was pushed, like there's a difference. What you're about to see now is actual footage of the moment Vincent was pushed. What? What? Vincent? What the hell? Were you, you were there when he fell down the steps. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was absolutely there. He was at the top of the stairs. Um, we heard the ovulus go off, he said a word. What did that say? I don't know. So I turned to go see what it was. The next thing you know, I hear the commotion. And whatever happened, happened so quick that I didn't even have time to put my hands in front of me because I was lunging forward, and then I tumbled down. What? What? This it? What the hell? Oh, wow. Something did not like him. Something did not want him there. It pushed him down the stairs. Oh. Did you? Are you okay? Oh, my God. Oh, I just hit my head so hard. I just hit my head so hard. As if what happened to Vincent isn't horrifying enough, we're shocked to learn this type of attack appears to represent a hostile pattern of highly charged poltergeist activity at the Salt Air. 